Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to add custom CSS in Wix website that you are creating in Wix.com. I will also show you to add other types of codes into your Wix website. And we will also get some help from ChatGPT to produce us the code that we will be showing you on Wix website. So let's get jump into the video. At first step, we will start by creating a new website first because when you're trying to add a, a CSS or a code on your Wix website, everything needs to be set up properly. So we will create a quick website for us to demonstrate in this today's video. Now adding a CSS on your Wix website is the same process as adding the other elements into your website. It will be located on the element section and adding it won't really be too complicated. Let me finish upgrading our website over here. Let's add our typical features to our website. Let's start with our dashboard first. One of the requirements for us to add a CSS or a code snippet into our website template is to have our website be published. So let's start with our template over here. Then let's simply click on design our site from this area. Then let's go pick a template for us to customize Let's select from the different templates that we have over here. Simply look for the template that you want, but for example, you don't want to use any of the topics, you want to start from scratch. Since you are trying to add some CSS into your website, maybe you could do it with these versions. So let's edit a minimal layout over here. And let's show you the different ways on how you will be able to add codes so there are two ways. The first way is through elements over here, through elements over on the top of left. And as you can see, there will be an option over here called embedded code. Now, as you can see here, this is not really a CSS for the entire website, but these are codes or root in the area where you will be able to find the features of code, where you can add an HTML or you could even embed website or you could have a custom element. Custom element is a feature that would allow you to use CSS as well. You can see here, you could view its code by clicking all the settings, pasting the server URL into a new browser tab, and then explore this code edges as a reference to create your element. So we'll be able to click on the true source over here. Let's copy this and paste it over here. And let's see the output over here. It's a bit hard to see, but this is the code over here. There we got this. It's the code being used. And to debug this code, open Wix default custom elements and developer tools. Simply follow the instructions, such ads, this one where you will have to go to the settings button and pasting the server URL into a browser tab. Then you can change the code in this part over here. And there are other options or elements that you can use. They have similar instruction. And let's click on add elements over here. And let's select the option that we see earlier. URL into a browser tab, then you can change the code of this part over here. Then whatever code that you add will be the appearance of this snippet that you added over here. And there are other optional elements that you can use. They have similar instruction. Uh, let's click on add elements over here and let's select the option that we see earlier. Let's exit this. Exit this as well. And click on custom code. Now, if you already have a source code or your different types of code, either HTML or CSS, that's really great. But for me, I don't have it yet. So I would be able to ask chat GPT, produce it for me as well. You could do the same thing with me or you could do the same process where you could add, produce a CSS that would display a cloud and a blue sky in the background. And if you click enter, chat GPT will create a code for you to use now. Although it won't be perfect, as you can see, it won't be able to produce a perfect output, but it will be something you could work on or use a reference or to build on. Unfortunately, as you can see, we would need 
to upgrade our site and connect a domain, be able to add a custom code. So this is something you need to finish up right now. We are access only using the domain or subdomain provided by Wix. But you're going to have a connect your own domain access. But you're going to have connect your own domain access, the specific feature of editing the entire website or a specific big part of your website. That is a requirement. Unfortunately, as you can see, you will need to connect it a domain that you already have and connect it to domain site premium plan to full access this feature as well. But this is the process. Simply explore it and if you have the access and that's it. But before we end this video, please do hit like, share and subscribe if you are new here.